It's recommended you wear a hijab when visiting your client. We've had incidents of inmates spitting at female lawyers. You want to represent the head recruiter for 9-11? Mohamedou Old Slahi, the Mauritanian held in Guantanamo. He recruited the guys who flew your friend's plane into the South Tower. It was an instant yes, I think, because I read it, couldn't stop reading it, was fascinated, you know, really wanted to be a part of telling Mohamedou's story. But it was a very long script and it went off in a lot of different directions. So there was some work that needed to be done just to shape it and focus it. And um, I think that's really a testament to Kevin McDonald, the director, that he was able to really identify the important part of the story and to keep moving in that direction. You know, the important part was really Mohamedou's story, just to prioritize it. We wish to represent you. We are seeking the death penalty, but if we miss something, this guy goes home. Let's get to it. Call this number. Speak to my mother. Tell her, I don't know, something nice. The U.S. government is holding upwards of 700 prisoners in Guantanamo. Since when did we start locking people up without a trial in this country? Uh, I had an idea of Mohamedou from what I've seen and... Uh, you know, as a, uh, he was, uh, you know, as a good man. But when I met him, it was a bob. This he was funny, uh, full of light, generous. Uh, he would uh, play music, very interested in 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 you, in who you are. Talk, asking about um, about my family and things like that. So gentle that I, it was almost unbelievable that he's been uh, through hell. The prosecution won't show us the evidence they have against you. It's all redacted. You got a problem? Take it up with the government. All my time here, I've been told you are guilty. Not for something that I have done, but because of suspicions and associations. I am innocent. I, I did take some license because I think my Nancy is a lot meaner than her Nancy. You know, her, she's a lovely person. My Nancy is not so lovely, especially in the beginning. Um, I really wanted to show that she changed over time and that Mohamedou uh, as a person, this extraordinary person that that she was faced with, um, that in, in ways allowed her to become more vulnerable and to soften up so that she could care for him. He has been interrogated. He has been held against his will for six years without a single charge being laid against him. Doesn't it bother you at all working for something like this? I'm not just defending him. I'm defending the rule of law. You haven't seen what I've seen. So I started to talk with him and it was great. And, and uh, I had to ask him some questions, some touchy questions. And then he changed and I felt that it was, that he was very sad as if it was going back there instantly in, in, uh, yeah. in Guantanamo being tortured. So uh, I stopped, I felt bad, I felt stupid. So I, I understood at, at this very moment that the best way for me to catch <clears throat> his personality and his spirit was to talk with him, spend time with him, and observe him. For eight years, I have been dreaming of being in a courtroom. Now that I'm here, I'm scared to death. You know, I think I figured out why they built Guantanamo down there. My client, he's not a suspect. He's a witness. Mr. Slahi, would you please raise your right hand and repeat after me? 